Hello everyone. Well, up until today, the most expensive vacuum cleaner I've unboxed on my channel was the Dyson V11 costing £600. Now, I didn't think it was worth £600, so I sent it back to Dyson. The machine and the accessories I'm about to show you today cost considerably more. In fact, if I check my invoice, what I'm about to show you cost me £1,359.00. 20 new pence and that includes a 20% discount on the main unit complete with the hard floor cleaning nozzle. What is it? Well, of course, it's a Vorwerk. I think I've pronounced that correctly. It's a Vorwerk Kobold VK200. I've been itching to open this. It was delivered in two boxes. This is the main unit, I believe, the main vacuum cleaner, which you can buy on its own. But once you've added all the accessories, then it does become a lot more expensive. But anyway, I've wanted to try one of these for quite some time, and I thought I might as well. This is a vacuum cleaner channel on the whole, so it's nice to show you every sort of vacuum cleaner from the budget priced supermarket vacuums costing under £30 to something as expensive as this Vorwerk. Now, first thing, at least you do get a box of bags with this machine. So it's for the Col Cobalt VK200, that's the latest model at the time of making the video. And uh, I can't see how many you get in here. Oh, six. This contains six new bags. Obviously, if you want more bags, you can get them direct from Cobold or Volvec, should I say. These are the Dovina chips. Six of those, so one for each bag. These fit in a special compartment on the vacuum cleaner and are supposed to emit a nice fragrance when you're vacuuming. The bags also contain granules that absorb nasty odors. So hopefully, if you've got pets, and you notice an odour coming from your vacuum, this machine should prevent it. Here's the mains cord, which you have to attach yourself. A very thick, comprehensive instruction book. It runs to about 121 pages. This not only gives you the instructions for the cleaner itself, but all the optional accessories. This is all in English. There's quite a lot to go through. This video is going to be quite long because there's a lot to show you. It's just unboxing the machine and the accessories I've chosen. I'll do individual videos showing you how the various accessories work with this whole system because it's not just a vacuum cleaner. It is supposed to be a complete home cleaning system. I, I'll reiterate, I paid for this myself. I wasn't given it for free. So what I'm going to say about this machine are my views and I'm entitled to them because it costs me a lot of money. So we've got two boxes here. This is the Cobalt EB400. This will be the power head, which is automatic. It adjusts itself for carpets and hard floors. And inside this box, we have the main unit itself, okay? Let's get it open. I must say the main unit is very, very lightweight. So here we go. And it's in a very nice bright white color. So here's the handle first. Do I need my scissors? I think I do. So obviously we need to fit the handle to the cleaner and we need to fit the mains cord. So there's the handle with a, a looped grip. You've got the cord storage hook on there. That should turn down. Yes, it does. And you've got your slide control to operate the machine and its various speeds and functions. Pop that to one side. Here's the main unit. I think that's everything. Then I'm going to have to open the bag with the scissors. So 
take a bit of polystyrene off. So this is the main business end of the cleaner. Well, it's the suction unit containing obviously the motor, the filter and the dust bag. Okay, so let's open the EB400 head. Now, one reason that put me off choosing one of these cleaners is you had to have a demonstrator come to your home before you could buy one. But now I'm pleased to say you can buy these online without the need for someone coming to your home. Now it's a lot of money obviously and you might want somebody coming into your home to demonstrate everything but hopefully when you see my whole series of videos on this machine it might persuade you or not to part with your money. But always if you want a demonstration book one and uh, obviously you can see how this machine performs in your home and there's no obligation, no hard sale tactic, I believe. But it's something I didn't really want to do because quite frankly, I don't really want someone in my home demonstrating a vacuum cleaner to me. I know the instruction book is quite comprehensive, but I can read and I'm sure after studying it and using the machine, I'll be able to figure it out. So there's the very sleek, slim looking power head. And it's got a very narrow opening. Very narrow indeed and a quite an unusual looking brush roll. It's a combination of brushes and blades, rubber blades. So I'm not sure how effective it, this is. Before the EU energy labelling scheme was scrapped, I believe this got quad A. So it was an A for dust pickup from carpet, A for dust pickup from hard floor, A for dust emissions, and A for energy use. But uh, there's no sign of any uh, labelling on this cleaner now. So there it is. We'll see how that performs in action. So I think the first thing we need to do is attach the handle and the mains cable and the instructions state to place the suction unit on the floor head before attaching the handle. So that's what I'll do. So to assemble the main suction unit to one of the floor heads, we'll first put the neck in the upright position and then locate the suction unit over the top until it clicks. So here's the handle of the VK200 and we need to insert it with the button to the front. This is the clamping lever at the back of the main unit. You need to make sure you hold that open and then insert the handle into the top of the cleaner. Push the handle down until you hear it engage. There we go. And then you can push the clamping lever fully forward. Before I attach the power cord, I'll just remove this little yellow collar, which we will need, so keep hold of that. And we've also got a little guide here. Before attaching the cord, pull out the clamping lever and raise the handle slightly, and then secure the handle in place. Now we can insert the cord into the cleaner with the clip facing the left hand side when viewed from the back of the machine. So just feed it into the top of the handle gently like this. If you've got it around the wrong way it won't let you push it down. And as you push it down the cord will appear at the side of the handle. Keep threading down the cord to the base where it reaches the main body of the vacuum cleaner. Next we need to fit the yellow collar on the telescopic handle above the power cord, ensuring that the arrow is pointing down. So we can just clip it into position. Now we need to release the clamping lever again and hold it in the open position and push down on the handle until you hear a click. Then remove the collar from the cleaner and then slide the handle fully into the vacuum cleaner. The power cord is stored on two hooks at the back of the cleaner. To release it, simply turn down the top hook. Well, that's assembly completed and we're now ready to use the Vorwerk VK200. The only thing I need to do is insert one of the Davina fragrance chips and they fit inside this special little holder here at the top of the bag compartment. So you need to open up the flap and release one of the chips from the packaging. 
Insert the Davina fragrance chip and close the flap. Here are all the tools I bought to go with my VK200. Most of these were optional. You do actually get, with a particular bundle I purchased, the power hose was included. You obviously need this hose to use the powered accessories and any of the other above floor tools. So this is a hose that has, as you can see, a mains cable attached to the outside. I'm not sure why Vorwerk didn't incorporate this inside the hose like many manufacturers, but it's on the outside of this one and this end attaches to the cleaner and this is the end you put all the accessories so i'll just pop that to one side i also purchased the optional shoulder strap so this ensures you can carry the machine when it's in suction mode when you're using the hose you can attach this shoulder strap and you can carry the machine on your back so you've got both hands free if you're cleaning at height, up the stairs, or whatever you're doing. So I thought it was worth getting this little additional accessory. I think that was £9. The accessories aren't a bad price, certainly not the powered tools. The powered accessories are quite expensive, but the smaller tools I think are, are quite reasonable. This is a flexible crevice tool. I believe this was £19. It comes with a detachable brush as well as this flexible end. This brush comes off, but this is a very long tool for getting into the nooks and crannies down the side of your fridge or freezer in your kitchen, inside your car. But it also angles, so it's got this articulated neck. So as you can see, you can move it. So you've got all sorts of different positions you can use this nozzle in. So that will be very useful for getting all those nooks and crannies cleaned. So that was an option, but I think that's something that is invaluable. This also comes with it. Looks a bit of an odd accessory. This fits on the end. So you need to take the brush off and it fits just on the end there. You can pull that out if you want. And basically this part sticks to your wall. It's got a soft silicon or rubber circumference around there so it won't damage your wall but basically you switch on the cleaner you stick that to your wall and it catches all the dust if you're drilling holes in the wall that will catch the dust before it falls on the floor so another handy little accessory that comes with this flexible crevice tool this is another nozzle i've always liked the look of it's your dusting brush so like this the brushes are quite dense and that's good for cleaning your shelving, lampshades, etc. But with this slide control, you can just push that forward and expand the brushes. So now when it's fully out, you've got a very wide, soft brush for cleaning all your delicate items, your chandeliers, things like that, your Royal Dalton, everything. Obviously you've got very expensive things. If you can afford one of these, you want to take care. If you've got a collection of porcelain dolls, you could use this, teddy bears, whatever, but it's just completely variable. You can change the brush. I think that's a fantastic nozzle and one I would certainly go for. I'll be demonstrating it, obviously, in a future video, but that's another nozzle I really like that Vorwerk provide. This is quite heavy, but it's your extension wand. I believe it's telescopic, yes. So it pulls out, so you've got the extra reach if you've got very high ceilings, if you live in a stately home, you of course can reach up higher. You can attach any of the nozzles to the end, including the flexible crevice tool, so you can really reach up those high voltage ceilings and clean up high or clean down low, of course, without stooping or bending. So any of the nozzles will fit onto that and you can just adjust and lock it into whatever position you want. And this final nozzle, it's like a, a two-in-one. You can use it like this. And in this particular mode, we'll pop it on the end of the hose like this. So it all clicks into position. So this is sort looks a bit like a some sort of a bird. This is your sort of crevice tool for getting in those creases of your furniture, your nooks and crannies, but you can open it up. And now you've got a small upholstery nozzle for your curtains and your delicate upholstery. Then you've got this attachment that fits on, clips into place. So now you've got a large brush here. You can do your walls and other large hard surfaces, but the brush does come off as well. Should just unclip. 
If you want to remove the bristle plate for cleaning larger areas of furnishings, you simply press down on this little button here and pull the bristle plate off. It's a bit stiff. And now you can use the nozzle like that. Inside this box is the SP600 hard floor head. So I'll carefully open it. And this actually came with the particular bundle I purchased as standard. So you get three universal cloths. You can get other cloths to fit this for delicate flooring and a dry cloth when you're cleaning floors that can't be wet with a liquid detergent. So three of those and apparently you're supposed to wash those at 60 degrees in the washing machine before first use. And of course, when they get dirty, they can be washed in the machine. Inside here is some Kobo Clean, the detergent that you use. And of course, I would always recommend with this machine and any other cleaner that uses a specific detergent, always use the genuine detergent for best results. So that goes in the tank on the actual SP600. And here it is. Lots of boxes, but at least they're cardboard, so they can be recycled. So this accessory fits on, of course, to the main body of the VK200. And it is designed to vacuum and wash your floors at the same time. So obviously this will need a separate demonstration. And you'll find that on my channel. When these demonstrations are done, there will be a separate playlist so you can view them all if you want to, or just watch the specific ones you're interested in. So very well made, substantial cleaning head. This is the plate here that you attach the microfiber cloth to and it vibrates at high speed. You've got suction channels front and back. And you've got this waveguide that uh, illustrates the amount of fluid you're dispensing. All this I'll be explaining later, of course. And this is your detergent tank. It only needs three millilitres of the solution, and then you just top that up with water. Cold or warm water, but not very hot water, certainly not boiling water. Just, just warm water will be fine in there, and then that fits onto there. So I will be looking at that in more detail. So that is your solution for cleaning floors with this machine. So finally, another attachment I wanted, and it was one reason, one of the reasons I decided to actually finally go for this machine. And this is the Polster Boy attachment. And hopefully inside here is the mattress cleaning set as well. Now this attachment alone was 300 pounds, so obviously not cheap. So hopefully there's going to be, yes, it has everything in it. So, let's see, I think, is this the Polster Boy? I'm not sure. PB440, this is the Polster Boy which is your upholstery cleaner. Oh, and it looks a lot more compact than it does in the videos I've seen. So you've got contra-rotating brushes here. This has got its own electric motor. So this is your solution for cleaning all your upholstered furniture. If you've got loose fringes, obviously don't run this uh, appliance over, but anything, anything hard wearing, your car interiors, your car mats, car carpets, everything you can clean with this. It's absolutely an ingenious design, a bit different because instead of going like that, as you'd normally use a nozzle, you sweep the nozzle like you'd use a clothes brush. It's that sort of design. You've got a little slider control as well. So when it's in the back position, it means that the suction is coming through where the brushes are. But if you want to concentrate suction here at the tip, you simply slide this forward and then you've got suction there to get into the nooks and crannies or in between the buttons of your upholstered furniture. So that is one other reason I decided to go for this cleaning system. It was a lot of money. Um, I'm pretty impressed so far and I've not even switched the machine on. So 
obviously I, it took me a while to decide to get this i've seen a lot of of the videos now this is your mattress cleaner this is actually for vacuuming the mattress and instead of brushes now i've used um, vacuum cleaners with rotating brushes on mattresses before and sometimes they can get caught up in the buttons on the mattress and pull them off now this is designed just to vibrate at high speed now that causes a vibration in the mattress which agitates the surface to bring the dirt to the top now obviously this is designed to remove your dead skin cells dust mites and their feces believe it or not they do live in most mattresses and this is it's an accessory that fits onto your polster boy you need to remove the front part and this fits on and the motor in the polster boy drives this so before cleaning the mattress you're supposed to vacuum it with this now one reason i went for this i have a memory foam mattress and you're not supposed to wet clean memory foam and I wanted a way of being able to freshen up my mattress without putting water on them. So that's why I've decided to go for this. This is the other part of the mattress cleaning set. It looks a bit bizarre, but basically these nodules, the whole base plate here, rotates at high speed. That's designed to agitate and dispense the special mattress cleaning powder, which I did order with this. So you, sprinkle, you vacuum your mattress first using this accessory. You sprinkle on the powder and work it into the mattress using this accessory. And then about half an hour later, you vacuum it, the dirty powder up again with this accessory. So it all looks very strange, but I'm sure everything will become clear when I demonstrate this. I can't wait to freshen up my mattress. Oh, I didn't realize. I must have ordered two. I thought I only ordered one. Or did I order? I might have ordered two, I don't know. This is the powder you need. This is Lavinia powder. And I think one packet of these is suitable for a double bed. You might need a bit more, obviously, if you've got a king size bed. So here it is. All these accessories, obviously, when you need spares of the powders, you can get them direct from Vorwerk from their website so we've got instructions in here and even a sort of a, a sticker that tells us when we can actually I think that sticks to the mattress somewhere you can actually write in when you clean the mattress so you know when it's time to do it again but this is the stuff it's a dry powder but it's it's moist so it does have some cleaning agent in it sprinkle that on one packet of those per double bed and uh, it should freshen your mattress and remove any allergens that's the theory anyway so all very interesting certainly for me and if you're watching this video you may be interested but as i said i will be doing individual videos on all these accessories on the cleaner itself on the hard floor cleaner the only thing i haven't bought as i said is the carpet freshener it works in a similar way to the mattress cleaner but it uses a different kind of powder and it incorporates a hopper so it distributes the chemical the powder onto the carpet agitates it in and then around half an hour later you vacuum it up it's similar sort of thing to the SIBO duo p powder um, or even the vanish powder you can buy in supermarkets. It's just the, a moist powder you brush in, wait till it dries and vacuum it off. So an awful lot to look at, an awful lot to go through. So it's going to take me quite a, a number of videos to explain everything. But I think they do need a lot of explaining when you're paying a lot of money for one of these cleaning systems. It needs to be explained in thorough detail. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at this Vorwerk Cobold VK200 cleaning system. It's obviously a very considered purchase, costing well over a thousand pounds. And a lot of people watching this video will think that's a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a vacuum cleaner. But of course, it's not just a vacuum cleaner. With all the additional accessories, it can do so much more. 
I'm pretty pleased with it so far and I haven't even started using it, but obviously over the next few weeks and months, I will be trying out all the features and functions of this cleaning system and sharing my thoughts with you in separate videos. I've got a big instruction book to go through, but I'll be studying that at my leisure and then showing you how this system works in my home. If you have any comments or questions about this machine, please comment below, subscribe, and click the bell icon and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video, which will of course include many more videos on this Volverk cleaning system. So until the next time, thanks for watching and it's goodbye for now.